Hi guys, welcome back to Breakthrough Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this Dominican potato salad. So if you don't like potato salad because of the mayonnaise, you could always switch the mayonnaise off for sour cream, lemon, or oil. But let's get into this recipe. So you're gonna wanna use one large pot and fill it up with water and then just add two large potatoes and your egg and bring that to a boil. Now you could always add your carrots in right now, but I did that separate for some reason. But when it's boiling, just take the egg out and then keep cooking the potatoes until they're soft. Once they're soft, you can take those out too. Now you wanna peel your carrots and just trim them and then throw those in the water and just boil them until they're soft. I don't know why the carrot water turned orange, but it did, so that's crazy. Um, continuing on with the recipe, Now in a small pan, just add one tablespoon of white vinegar and then add half of one chopped red onion and just saute that on low heat until the onions are translucent like this. Now to assemble a potato salad, you want to cut your potatoes into pretty big pieces because you don't want to have re really small pieces of potato, you want to have pretty decent chopped dices in your potato salad. So chop those up however you really want and throw those in your bowl. All right, now for the carrots, um, same thing. Chop those up into small dices and throw those in your bowl for your potato salad. Now the only thing left to chop up is your egg. So go ahead and chop that up and throw that into your bowl and on to the next ingredient. The sauteed red onion. Throw that into the bowl. Now for the mayonnaise. I put one half cup of mayonnaise in here plus about one teaspoon extra at the end. You guys do however you want, but remember, you can always add more, but you can't take any out. So go a little bit at a time and then just give it a good mix. Once it's all well combined, just taste a little bit of it and check it for salt and pepper and then see if it needs a little bit more mayonnaise and go ahead and add that too. And after you have given it a million mixes and it is all well combined, go ahead and serve, enjoy.